this is going to be lesson one and we're going to be in unit five we're going to be moving in and out of unit five working from the appendix and within unit five a lot of times the things that i teach you in the appendix are used explicitly in chapter five but they don't explain how so we use the appendix to help enhance your understanding implicit differentiation in fact is something that's used quite frequently at the university level. So it's an important uh, part of understanding the whole idea of Chapter 5. All right, so implicit differentiation. What is it? Well, and I'm going to give you an example. You're asked to differentiate a function that looks like this. And you all know how to find the derivative and that will be dy by dx is equal to 6x plus 2. Now, let's, uh, let's say you are asked to differentiate something where it's a combination of x's and y's. This is known as a circle. You've seen this in grade 10. How do you find the derivative of a circle? Because a circle is a sketch that you could possibly have to draw, and you may need a tangent the slope of a tangent at a certain point with respect to a circle. Well, let's look at how do you find the derivative. To find this derivative, take the derivative of x squared, which is going to be 2x, and then the next part is going to be plus. Now, you want to take the derivative of y squared with respect to x, but you're only given y squared. So what's going on? Well, what you do with implicit differentiation is you take the derivative of the y, so now you have 2y, but what you're actually doing is taking the derivative of y, so known as dy, with respect to x, dx. Now in the first part, we were taking the derivative of x with respect to x. dx by dx is just 1, so that's why you only have 2x here. But for this example, you're taking the derivative of y, still with respect to the original variable, which is x. So you're going to take the derivative of y with respect to x. So the derivative of this is going to be 2y, but what you're doing is taking the derivative of the y, which is what we did, but with respect to the original variable, which is x. Now, what's the derivative of 25? Well, that's 0. What do you do with that function right now? Well, the whole point is you're supposed to differentiate. So you're supposed to get dy by dx by itself. dy by dx is equal to negative 2x, and you're going to divide by 2y. Well, you can simplify that to get dy by dx is equal to negative x over y. And this, folks, is how you differentiate with respect to implicit differentiation. Let's look at another problem. Example number three. Find the slope of the tangent at the point 3, 4, given the circle. Well, see what I said earlier. You want to find the slope of the tangent at a point on the circle. If I plug in 3, 4, that will give us 25. So we need to find the slope of the, the derivative of that circle, which we already did, folks, a little bit earlier on, and we found it's negative x over y, and we have to plug it at that point 3, 4. Well, we plug in for x, and we plug in for y, and we find out that dy by dx is negative 3 over 4. So that is the slope of the tangent at that point. Example number four, differentiate for example, something a little bit harder. What about this, folks? And you're asked to differentiate this cortex. Well, it's not a cortex. It's a combination of x's and y's. How do we do that? Well, the first part is going to be easy. This part, we find the derivative. And that will be 4x cubed. No problem. The next part we have to do is find the derivative of x squared y. Well, folks, that will be the product rule. What you need to do is find the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, times the second function, plus the derivative of this, 
sorry, the original function, x squared, sorry, f is x squared, times g prime. Well, the derivative of y is 1, but remember, you're taking the derivative of y with respect to x, so 1 dy by dx. Then you're left with plus 3y squared, that's this piece right here. What are you going to have there is going to be plus 6y, and again, dy by dx, because you're taking the derivative of y with respect to x, equals 0. Now what do we do? Well, folks, we keep the dy by dx's on one side. All the other stuff goes on the other side. And what you do is you common factor that dy by dx. So x squared plus 6y are the coefficients of dy by dx equals 4x cubed plus 2xy. And this, folks, is the end. So you're going to take the x squared plus 6y and divide by it so that you have dy by dx is equal to negative 4x cubed minus 2xy all over x squared plus 6y. And that, folks, is the end of example number four. All right, one more. Example number five. Find the equation of the tangent to 3x squared plus y squared equals 31 at 3, negative 2. So here we're given an ellipse. And we're asked to find the equation of the tangent to that ellipse at a certain point. So we find the derivative, which will be 6x plus 2y dy by dx equals 0. Isolate for dy by dx, and you get dy by dx is equal to negative 3x over y. At that point, it's going to be equal to 9 over 2. Now you to find the equation of the tangent. To find the equation of tangent, you're going to sub the slope and a point into the equation, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and you'll end up with an answer of y equals 9 over 2x minus 31 over 2. And that's expanded and simplified. All right, that's the end, folks, of this lesson. Have a numerical night. Take care.